Alright, hey you everybody, how are you all doing today and welcome to a new episode of the SSX 2012 Let's Play. Now, today is going to be part number 3 where we'll be taking on Patagonia. So last episode we wrapped up Siberia, had a few issues, but for the most part it went alright. Let's get some new adventures going in hey, Patagonia. Geez, Next stop for us, Patagonia. Our target descent here is the north face of Fitzroy and at 3375 meters it's one of the steepest faces in the world. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's a ton of riding to do between now and then. And believe, baby, this one is all yours. But you gotta know this. It's a crazy labyrinth. Wicked rock spires, twisting canyons, and knife edge ridge runs that'll rotate your stomach. Oh, there are a few unexpected surprises as well. To SSX, this is a vacation spot. And it's the perfect place to do a little wing saving. Because with breaks and gaps the size of football fields out there, no line is the easy way down. The road to conquering the deadly descent isn't paved with sunshine and roses, which means it's just the kind of road SSX likes to travel. Alright, but... I mean, I get that it makes sense, but... Gravity is your new gimmick? Like, gravity is our gimmick now. That hasn't been a thing before. No, 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 no. Don't worry about it. Anyway, I'm excited to take the reins as Elise. However... Just like the other SSX characters, she looked nothing like herself, in my opinion. They changed the characters up a lot, which is fair, I suppose, but, you know. This game kind of suffers from the same problem that On Tour did, where it kind of absolves the characters of their... It kind of absolves the characters of their, their personality a little bit. And, uh... On tour definitely did that as well, because it kind of shelved the main characters in favor of, you know, straight up character creation. Which, yeah, it was cool to have, but you shouldn't have shelved the main characters, in my opinion. That was a bad decision. Just like this is a very bad decision. I don't know what I'm doing, okay? Okay, we're taking the scenic route. God, that looks amazing. That would look so good in real life, though. You. I can't even. Imagine it. Oh, she fell. Ha ha. Later, Gator. See ya. Instant karma. Uh, I was about to say, see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. See ya. Didn't mean to do that. See ya. Didn't mean to do that. I'm so gonna lose. What? How to stay on on rail. Alright, we're restarting. Because uh, there's no way we're catching up to that lead. Well, let's try that again. Okay. Oh, new path. Oh, no, this is where I went last time. Or is it? I don't know. Well, it was a bad path because it was slow as shit. So... Oh, does Y take me off the path instantly? Is that what's going on? Because it kind of feels like that's what's going on. I suppose that would make sense. I should get on a, on a rail that's actually safe, and I should just try to do that. See if it works like that. Because it might do. I don't know. Unfortunately, safe rails are few and far between out here, apparently. Yeah, I'm staying on this rail no problem now. Yeah, I've been pressing Y trying to do like rail lubers on them, but that may have been screwing me over big time. Uh, holding jump, which I probably shouldn't be. Oh god, where am I going? Oh! Phew. That is an insane jump. I I can dig it. God, now where am I going? Where am I not going is a better question at this rate. Holy shit. Whew. Six second airtime. First of those. I wonder what the highest amount of airtime you can get in this entire game would be. It's gotta be really high, surely. I don't know. You do fall faster in this game, so I'm not actually sure. You'd think so because the gaps are bigger, but you fall faster, so it's kind of... You know, there's a little bit of, little bit of both, if you will. So this track didn't have a single safe rail for me to try out my new theory. Alright. I'm 11 seconds ahead. Surely this will be fine. Right? It has to be. 
Can't mess this away, right? Jump across there. Now what? Just a straight shot towards the finish, it looks like. Which I can do. I'm going super slow, though, due to the severe lack of boost. But we are fine. There you go. The bronze finish. Norwegian! Club, guard your eyes! There's Norwegian on the screen. I've always loved racing against Ulysse. I know you're going to do Team SSX Proud in Patagonia. Alright, well, let's see what this is then. Was that a typo? Did you see that? Wing suiting indeed. Did you see that typo? I swear that said... Uh, it was like than. It was supposed to be than. It actually said that. I think I read that right. Okay, what do I need to put on here? Wingsuit, right? Wingsuits allow you to collide over large gaps. Lift, airspeed, and durability. Okay, that's a lot to keep track of. Okay. Rated for in a single run? That's a thing? I'm surprised that's a thing. Okay. Well, once again, she's got the best one, so I'm gonna take that one. Thank you very much. How about a board? Nope, these are all crap. I'm out. Let's get going. I'm going to assume wingsuiting is just like it is in like Steep and and Far Cry and any other game with wingsuits where it's basically inverted. Yeah, there you go. Inverted. Fair enough. Can do. So what do I have to press? L, L3? No. Shit. R3? What do I press to enable this damn thing? See, the tooltips don't work for me. Oh, it's, it's not like right bumper, is it? Well, it was right bumper. Was it in my case? Crap. 360,000. What? I've already pulled that many. God. Wow. Only played for like an hour. Shh, shh. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, though. Okay, how the hell do you wingsuit? Uh, this is going to come back to bite me if I don't learn quick. What other buttons are there? Is it on the D-pad, maybe? I need to, like, multitask this we're trying to catch up to Simon as well. Now, D-pad didn't do a damn thing, because that's all spins and flips. It's A! I, okay, I guess that makes sense. I can see why you would want to have it on A. Fine. Okay, I get that. Oh, God, I caught it big time. Just want a brief wingsuit. It's like real pro runs, because I know the wingsuit... It's a big deal in, you know, top tier pro runs in this game. Oh god, where am I going? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Decent top speed. I like it. I'm gonna lose and I'm gonna die. Let go of the wingsuit. Maybe I can recover this. Not likely, but we'll try it. 300 meters to go. Oh god. We are so dead. That's gonna be a restart. I will say that is pretty lazy. Not even updating the tooltips to classic controls. I mean, you put classic controls in the game. That was your decision. You didn't have to put them there. I appreciate you doing that. But you could have updated the tooltips. Come on now. I don't feel like that was... I don't feel like that was going to break anyone's back in terms of hard labor. I think that would have been fine. Simon's off to an early lead again. The crazy bastard. He's wingsuiting away. So I assume if I land holding the wingsuit, I'm gonna die. That sounds like a logical assumption to make. But then again, nothing is logical in this game. Okay, well, we confirmed. We confirmed that wingsuit wipeouts are bad news bears. I 
just instantly start suiting, I guess. Yeah, that'll get the job done. This is where I went last time too. This is a bad place to be. It's slow up here. I'm down to hell. 11 seconds back. That is not a winning strategy, if I'm being honest. Oh god, what is this? Um, I am so dead. What if I... Nope. What? What happened? Is she wingsuiting? Wait! Did I restart? No, I went out. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, well, let's try that again. I went out of the run on accident. How smart am I? Not very. If you... If you're still looking for an answer to that question. It was a rhetorical question, but I'll answer it for you regardless. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. Let go of the wingsuit before you die. Mobius here as well. Oh, Cowry, it's a party. So I do like that they make you race against the characters, but they don't really talk to each other, do they? And that's kind of what makes SSX SSX. It's the it's the wacky tracks, which this game kind of goes away from by having the vaguely topographically accurate ones. Sure, these are still crazy tracks. Sure, they're fun tracks. They're decently designed. Yes. But they are quite, they are quite realistic compared to, compared to the standard set in Tricky and Free. There's, there's not much arguing that. Also, I actually didn't fuck up. Oh, that's not death. All right, well I'm going down here then. I thought that was death, but it's not. Cool. I also just noticed, if it's marked like this, it means it's going to want you to wingsuit. That makes sense, I didn't think about that, because I'm stupid. Uh-oh. Oh, way down here. See, my screen's a little too dark for me to actually see what the hell is a bottomless chasm and what isn't. Uh-oh. No, level out. Thank you. I'm gonna lose, though, but whatever. Great work, Elise, but I've got to give you a heads up that the Deadly Descent on Fitzroy is coming up fast. You've only got two more drops to become a crow pro with your wingsuit. There's no way you're making it down. Well, I'm pretty bad with the wingsuit so far, so that's that doesn't sound good. Griff's ghost. Okay, so Griff is here. Salient. And then Griff's ghost. Crick. Oh, well, that was slow. There's a lot of stuff going on here. See, <clears throat> I don't want to badmouth this game too much because I am, after all, playing it and I'm having fun. But there are a few things to criticize that this game didn't do that SSX Free and stuff did. So, this game, because they went with the whole actual real life mountains thing, which is cool in concept, but in praxis. In Praxis. In practice, it ends up with you having lots, lots of tracks like this one where. What in the what? What? What was that? Okay, well, you end up with lots of tracks where you kind of have, like, you have a track, right? But then, if you left it completely untouched, just base track design, you wouldn't have enough stuff to do. So you have to kind of, you have to kind of hit it up. And you have to try to have to try to add in like some sort of depth somehow. But the developers apparently decided to go with adding a bunch of red rails all over the mountain. I don't know if this is just me, but it felt like an extremely cheap way of adding depth to a track where there was none, you know? I don't want to rag on the game, obviously, but I feel like that kind of had to be said. I wonder if anyone else agrees. Because uh, these red rails, like, not only are they all over the place, but they're also supposed to be able to, like, to be easy to get onto. And they are. So you kind of end up with those red rails being the intended path sometimes. As opposed to an alternate path. 
Holy fall. Simon's gonna win this one too, I think. I'm not good with the wingsuit, am I? I'm gonna make a late comeback, which I suppose is possible. He is right there, after all. He's taking a slow path through this, but now I'm out of boost. Which isn't exactly a winning strategy. Four seconds back. You're gonna... Okay, he goes on to this as well. So the issue is if I follow him, I'm not gonna win. Oh god. Well, now I'm not gonna win. No chance. That's gonna be game over for me. Yeah, I'm nine seconds back, essentially. I don't know if the game is getting harder or if the wingsuit ones just aren't, like, in my skill set. Might be a bit of both, to be fair. Okay. I think Simon just let out a taunt, but that's okay. He deserves it. He won, after all. Nice work out there. I found a good job with similar terrain to Fitzroy that will serve as an excellent warm-up for you. Wizard's taking up there next, so stretch those wings and fly. Got one more, and I'm still junk with the wingsuit. This is not a winning recipe. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Lord. Anyone will take bets on how many restarts this is going to take? Single digits or double digits? Anyone? Anyone? Okay, okay this is a trick event. Hold on, so... Where am I going? Like, what am I doing? Oh god, okay. See, something that makes it quite difficult for me is that... Oh god, where have I gone? It seems to take ages to kind of properly level out, if you will. Which is a big issue. I'm gonna lose so many points from this long rewind, though. It's going to murder any, con any prospect of a combo anytime soon. Oh no, I just get it, and then it resets. Alright, fair, I'll take that. It's fine by me. But I'm so... dead. <laughs> Let's try that once again. Went for like 40 seconds and got 1700 points. Video games are hard, man. <laughs> no, I want that first rail. Also should remember to hit that little don't ask me again thing. That's a very nice feature, I like that a lot fact that you're just able to do that straight up. Oh god. That was a bad idea. Did well to get on the rail, but then I jumped off it was dumb. Really? That's not gonna get back on the rail either? Alright. Fine. I guess I'll not jump off the rail then. See, kind of my overarching sentiment with this game is it seems like... The game in general plays so fast, it's kind of hard to know what the hell I'm doing and what the hell I'm supposed to do. Also, apparently, I'm following silver and bronze. It's not a winning strategy either. Ooh. I get em embedded in this plane? How the hell do I get out of here? Anyone? Alright, that'll do. Combo's down for the count, though, but whatever. Oh, God. I'm off the edge again. Alright, we're back on the track. Whoa, we're back on track a little bit. Okay, combo. Oh, hello. Alright, thank you. Okay, it doesn't look like I'm the only one not getting many points in this. So that's good. I'm not the only one not doing super well, then that's fine. You get more points from doing a rail and getting points on it slow or fast. Which is best. Nope, that's a rewind. Don't do it. Thank you. Uh, okay, we're alive still. 
watch out. I keep kind of deploying the wingsuit on accident too sometimes. It's probably not doing any good. I remember when I used to play this, it was a big deal to kind of use the jumps that the game makes. So you see when you have a big landing, or a large jump, the terrain kind of, you know, it's kind of like you make your own ramps in the snow. You're kind of busting up the terrain a little bit. Uh, I can do that for you, my friend. You don't need to excuse yourself, it's fine. Hey. Okay. Oh god. No! What was that? Oh god, I thought I was not allowed rewinds for a second because it was slow there. I was gonna be so very sad. Okay, negative points, but that's okay. As long as I just survive. See, an interesting thing about this game is that they kind of had to put rewinds in, because if they didn't, it would be too difficult to kind of survive this game for any amount of time. So they had to put rewinds in for normal players. So it makes sense that they did it. But in concept, I don't really like the idea of having a rewind button. Okay, well, here we go then. Uh, remember your wingsuit training? Oh yeah, that. Right. Focus on nothing else but getting down alive. Oh, so no sick tricks? Hmm. Okay. If you say so. Gravity. The least intimidating deadly descent gimmick of all time. Most any death that would occur on the mountain would be from some sort of gravity, surely. I know this one's a lot more bombastic than normal, but... Oh God! Oh, I'm getting thrown right into it. Oh God! All right, well, that was a win start. Yes, I never ask this again. Thank you. I hope so too. <laughs> See, the problem is sometimes I go too far and sometimes I don't go far enough. It's a difficult life. I probably need to actually look at where I'm supposed to land, don't I? That would probably be a winning strategy, I feel. I should do more of that. Also, I'm gonna die. No? I don't know where I'm going, but we're alive. So that's... Yes. Good. Oh, God. Large gap! I don't like the sound of that. So you can never know just how far these things are until you actually see the ground beneath you again. Okay, this one's fine. Yeah. So I could see the ground, so I was like, okay, that's not a worry. Where have I gone? Okay. The ones towards, like, the second half like this, probably gonna be quite long. I gotta make sure the wingsuit is in tip-top shape for these. Okay, hold the phone. This is not good. Speedy, speedy! Thank you! Going backwards. Could I wingsuit over to the helicopter and grab on? Is that a, is that a thing? I should look into that, because that sounds like that sounds like a fun time. I would enjoy that very much. It could be something to uh, to do one day. Oh god, I wiped out, but I got the trick. Mm, I'm not gonna complain. I'll take it. Oh god, no! I rewinds. Yes, I do. Good. What? Did I fail to activate it? Ok, 
Okay, well, it appears to have caused one rewind, but we're done. Well, there you go. Okay, that was surprisingly not that bad. I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, Siberia was significantly harder, but... There you go, Patagonia. Now what do I unlock? Alaska, Antarctica, and Himalayas. Ooh, the world is my oyster. All right. I like that. Hey, folks, Atomica Ooh. here with an update on the race to conquer the deadly descents. Seems the death-defying heroics of rebellious daredevil Griff Simmons have really started to captivate audiences around the world. He's been astounding people with his amazing talents. He's currently leaving SSX in his spray. Wonder what Team SSX is gonna do to get back in this thing. Gonna get some more deadly descents, I suppose. Is there anything else that we can do? But yeah, that's gonna do it. So we've got Alaska, we've got Antarctica, and we've got the Himalayas. So, on that note, I will make a decision at a later date, and you'll see me again soon. But that's going to do it for today. So, it's been a great video today, everyone. Thank you all so very much for watching. I appreciate it lots. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you for the continued support. Uh, I'm very thankful for it. And I will see you all in the next one. So have an absolutely bang up rest of your day. Take care and goodbye.